So culturally, right, what's the messaging that we're getting from everywhere, right, from all the marketers, from everybody, it's more, 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 better, 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 faster, 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 uh, more pleasurable, uh, more hedonistic, all that stuff. And, um, you know, there are messages like minimalism, there are messages like go slow, there are uh, yoga retreats and things like that. But often those even get uh, sexied up to be like, you know, uh, super immediate, pleasurable, etc. And um, this is happening around substances, material goods, buying houses, eating, exercising, like everything. We're fed this instant, fast, easy, magical um, versus what's maybe healthy and right and what actually leads to like a deeper sense of satisfaction. And so what does this look like when it's out of control in somebody's life? One, they may, you may not be even aware that this is kind of one of the mechanisms that's going on for you. This, this in the immediate seems like the solution right? If I can just feel better now, that's actually what I'm looking for. And so it can become this vicious cycle of, you know, going back to Netflix to just watch something else rather than dealing with a deeper emotional hurt or eating ice cream, right? To emotionally eat or whatever, or doing drugs or, you know, going to the bar again to feel better in the moment when the deeper work that's actually more satisfying actually leads to growth and happiness and, you know, self-love and pride and all these things. Um, is, is a different mechanism, right? So, uh, but what this looks like when it's out of control is we end up really dissatisfied with ourselves. We probably have a pretty skewed perception of how the world works, right? We, this expect muscle, which the world is working that way more and more and more. But when, when we talk about how the world works, how the world really works to feel satisfaction and happiness and deeper fulfillment more sincerely, right? And so, um, we end up with an inability to flex the gratitude muscle or to be really happy with what is and present. Um, you know, and, and we end up missing the present because we're constantly looking for more, more, more different. How do I get something I don't have? And so it, it actually ingrains this deep sense of lack in what I am because I need these external things, which is really kind of the definition of addiction, right? Like addiction is I need something outside myself to feel better than I do, right? And because my current state is pain or dissatisfaction or itch or craving. And because of that, I need something outside myself. So this instant gratification muscle really tracks with, you know, uh, feeling addicted in certain ways to certain things, right? Uh, Thanks for tuning into the Rob Scott Show. My name's Sarah and I'm here with Rob Scott. He's a master level coach. And we're here to kind of, we got to start this again. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>